Just Solve the Case for Christ based on the book by Lee Strubble. Was it good? Is it worth seeing? Check out my spoiler-free review. Welcome to Durbania. I'm Durbin, and this is my spoiler-free review for The Case for Christ. You know you're in the audience of a Christian film when somebody sneezes and 12 strangers in the audience say, God bless you. You know you're in the audience of a Christian film when somebody says a poignant line and somebody responds in the audience, Amen. Amen. Overall, this is an interesting movie based off the book of the same name by Lee Strobel. And Lee Strobel is a journalist. He uh, worked for the Chicago Tribune. And basically, when you read the book, it's about his investigation of the resurrection, which he began to investigate as an atheist. And he began to investigate it because his wife became a Christian and he wanted to debunk it for his wife. Like he wanted to stop her from drinking the Kool-Aid. He wanted to dig deep and find the evidence against it. And of course, since the book is called The Case for Christ, well, the spoiler is in the title. So it's, it's a very interesting book as he goes through the interviews and goes in depth with the conversations he has and goes in depth with the evidence that was presented to him and how it was his journey from being an atheist to a believer. It's a very interesting book that unfortunately I've only read about a third of. I really don't do well with uh, nonfiction books. However, I have had the privilege to hear him speak live and he is a great speaker and he went into great detail about the evidence and things like that in the case for Christ. And it's very interesting to hear him speak. It's interesting to hear his passion. It's very cool to hear him talk about it. So like I went into this movie knowing who Lee Strobel was, knowing what he's about, knowing what the book is, knowing what this movie's gonna be. And honestly, I thought it was a pretty good movie. So some of the positives. I thought the acting was surprisingly good. And I hate to word it that way, but a lot of times when it comes to Christian movies, the acting is just kind of, what's the nice way to say it? Is there a nice way to say it? Okay, let's just say it's not that. The acting in this movie was really, really good and surprisingly good. You know, the kind of the heart of this story being that you have Lee Strobel, who is an atheist, and his wife, who becomes a Christian, he's somebody who didn't want to be a believer at all. And so when his wife becomes a believer, he doesn't understand it. He kind of hopes it's going to be a phase. He sees it's not going to be a phase. And basically, she's not trying to push it on him. And they did a really good job in this movie where she's not a Bible thumper. She's not trying to force her faith and her belief system down his throat but she wanted to talk about it it was a big decision she made in her life it was a huge experience she experienced something more real than she ever experienced in her life and she wants to share it with the man that she loves and he got so cold and closed off and didn't want to hear it so there was a lot of tension in their marriage and so of course there's going to be a lot of heartfelt and touching moments and things like that in this movie and both these actors did a fantastic job. They communicated the hardships they were going through and their faces, the way they would deliver their lines. They did an amazing job with that. And you know, they were the two that kind of had to carry this film because they were the heart of this movie and their relationship in a sense was kind of the heart of this movie. So they had a lot of responsibility to carry that and carry it well. And I think that they both succeeded. But not just them, I think almost any actor that was brought into this movie, there was no point where it's like, ah, oh, the acting is so bad. Like, I never had a moment where I felt like that happened. I personally really enjoyed the story, but I also really enjoyed the parts of the Lee Strobel book that I read where it was the evidence, the case for Christ. It was very interesting to read from his atheist point of view, getting the evidence presented to him. I just thought that was so fascinating to read it in the book. It was interesting to hear him in person talk about it, and it was interesting to see it in this movie. Now, the book, and when you, if you ever get the chance to hear him speak, please take it. But the movie didn't go as in-depth with the evidence, I think, as like the book and his speaking did. But to me, that was understandable because they need to do a movie in under two hours and they have a lot of story to tell and they kind of needed to tell that story. So there are some places where I was, I was watching as he was interviewing somebody and they were presenting him with evidence of, uh, for the resurrection and things like that, that I wanted to get a little more of. And, you know, then they would kind of move on to the next thing. But at the same time, because I'm kind of familiar with his story, it's like, okay, I do kind of remember that chapter in the book. Oh, I remember him talking about that on stage. That kind of helped me with it personally. But I still think if you've never heard of Lee Strobel before ever and you go see this movie, I still think you would enjoy the evidence that's getting presented to him because it does get presented in a good way. It's not like super deep, so just know that. But it's enough that you're like, oh, okay. Okay, I see where the where these guys are coming from. And if you want more, you can always go out and, you know, 
get more. Another thing about the story that I really liked is as he's investigating the resurrection, he is investigating this story of this uh, police shooting that occurred where it very much so looks like a gangster shot a cop and everything is pointing to the gangster did this and so he's interviewing the gangster he's he's trying to put the evidence together and what's really interesting is how they took him investigating that story and they had it run parallel to him investigating the resurrection the way that they ran those parallels i thought was just really creative <laughs> if i was to touch on any negatives of this movie um you know overall it was pretty enjoyable it's just there were places where it felt like it was really slow because again, this is not an action thriller mystery thing. It's not like the Da Vinci Code where he's super excitedly moving from one point of evidence to the next point of evidence. That is not what's going on here. He's, you know, doing this research because he wants to save his marriage. He's trying to figure out if there's anything like real to what his wife is believing. And so that's kind of what it is. So there are points where it kind of got slow. But even in those points where it got slow, I was still interested and the conversations he had with the academics he was talking to. I was interested in the evidence that was being presented to him and I was interested in his reaction to that evidence. So, I mean, it was kind of a negative because it did feel kind of slow in places. And because it felt slow in places, the movie actually did feel long. I think it clocked in at just under two hours, but it felt a little bit longer to me. I had one or two places where I looked at my watch to kind of check on the time. And there was one point where it felt like I was felt like I was almost two hours in but really that's only an hour and a half in so yeah it does have those moments where it feels kind of long in the end I'm gonna give this movie a solid B I'm not in a rush to go see it again I don't feel like I need to own this one on blu-ray but I don't regret my theatrical experience seeing it it was a very good movie a very thought-provoking movie a very interesting movie about you know the resurrection and investigating it and you know what does this mean and things like that so it had a lot of elements that I really enjoyed and that I I thought were pretty good. So if you saw The Case for Christ, what are your thoughts on this movie? Or if you've heard Lee Strobel speak in person or read his book, what are your thoughts on The Case for Christ? Make sure to let me know in the comments. While you're there, hit the subscribe button and become a Durbanian. Next to the subscribe button is the bell. Click that bell. That way you're notified the moment I drop a new video and fun things like that. New videos like next week gonna start retro reviews of the Alien franchise. Never seen the Alien franchise. Cody Leach is gonna join me and we are going to do some awesome videos together reviewing those movies. I can't wait for that to kick off. So that's coming. So make sure you subscribe, hit that bell. Also check out some of my other videos like my video I did on five reasons to investigate the resurrection using the movie Risen as an example. So check that out. I'm Durbin. Thank you for checking out Durbania.